Assalamu alaikum. So in the last video you can see that uh, when our AI car uh, just start in from the beginning and it will not uh, uh, wait for the countdown. So if we want to apply that countdown we can go to car AI control script. You can go to your car and car AI control script and uh, here in on the line 71 here. You can see this else statement and vector three dot forward uh, transform dot forward. So here our car is moving actually. So in this else statement, we will say that if uh, if our uh, sorry save script dot race start equal to true, then only we will uh, call this function and this bracket will close this bracket actually uh, in the last here before this angular stay function uh, after everything uh, at this spot we will close this bracket like this save it and now hopefully uh, it should work okay so now uh, we will just uh, add other cars as well and uh, let's take a uh, race and let's see how it will work so now we will just enable the player and uh, definitely for the camera we will add our car player here so that the camera focus should be our car and now we'll just go to uh, press F here and uh, we'll add other cars so let's go to prefabs and uh, AI cars and let's add this red car here and and we have this blue car and uh, we have this yellow car so these cars are added here and we can actually manipulate certain settings for these cars and uh, definitely for yellow car for example if you want to add certain uh, different behaviors you can uh, increase or decrease the steer helper so the steer helper is actually uh, for the better control the 0.774 is a very better uh, 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 amount and we can actually decrease or increase it so let's make it 66 for example 0.66 and uh, we can also play with traction control if you want to do so uh, we can uh, ha in decrease this value for different behavior and we can actually increase this value as well so uh, you can play with these values and you can get your own uh, settings for all the cars so here I will just go to overrides apply all to this car and uh, for the red car let's add this thing something like 0.9 maybe for a very better steering and uh, for this amount we can just increase it to 25 and let's make it uh, 35 maybe save it and then uh, we can just override all the settings and then we have this blue car so we will just uh, increase the this to something like 8 5 like this I'm just playing with these values without any reason and without any point you can definitely play with your own values and uh, then I will just override all settings and now let's play the game and you will see that uh, after countdown the race will start one more thing I will just mute the audio because it will be very destructive so let's mute the audio for now and uh, then we will play the game and you will see that after countdown we can only move
so you can see all cars are stopped and now the race starts and you can see okay you can see the AI cars are quite bigger than my car uh, although uh, okay sorry we have just stuck here so I'll just wait for other cars maybe and why other cars are not moving for some reason so I will just check it out so let's finish the lap and why that don't cars are not moving I will test it out maybe that cars are stuck somewhere so let's see yeah these are stuck out here you can see and uh, we will solve this issue so you can see these cars are stuck out here and uh, we can definitely complete the ring and you can see you want the silver medal as we have entered the time so we will solve this issue definitely and uh, in uh, next videos uh, for stucking out but uh, for now i will just place these cars a little bit uh, with the distance so that our cars I should not collide with each other initially and uh, let's add this car over here maybe this blue car maybe here let's try it again hopefully now uh, these cars will also take the steps into race so let's see i just uh, stopped here for testing out the other cars and unfortunately these cars are stuck out again for some reason you can see okay maybe some maybe not matching the correct uh, values so what we can do we can just select this uh, bluish car and uh, let's move here and I will in yeah down force you can see this was the slowest one that's that was the problem actually so let's add the down force to 120 top speed to 150 for the blue car which is here and then for the red car We'll make the downforce to 100 and uh, 130 and then yellow car we'll just make it 80 and 110 so now the problem will be solved for now but uh, definitely it's not the solution for this so we will solve this issue in next video don't be worried about that so now we'll just uh, I'll just update the settings all our right so let's select all the cars including not including player car and we'll just apply settings and now we'll play it again to test it out and now you will see that our car will act in a better way so now you can see that uh, black car is here and uh, now again the cars are stuck down that due to the downforce and here yes I got it because we have placed these cars in a uh, yeah although this car should work I don't know ok 
Okay, that's yeah. Sorry for that. We didn't have added waypoint circuit to these cars, so that was the problem. So I was just a foolish man. So let's select every car here, and we have to add the circuit actually here. So that was the problem. Now everything will be fine, and uh, hopefully these cars will work absolutely fine so now you will see that these cars will act nicely yeah you can see blue car then red car and yellow car and now these cars are moving and we have to beat these cars which is quite easy but not too much easy okay so that's it for this video so we was making a mistake of uh, not adding waypoint circuit to the cars and now everything is fine we'll select the enemy cars again with including black car apply all settings and that's it in next video we'll move further and uh, i will show you that if some car stuck with this uh, for example this uh, barrier or this barrier then how we can solve that issue